and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some slippery narwhal. Uh, this is a pretty sweet looking donation deck. So we're going to be playing a champion list deck, no champions, but we're going to be combining Bilgewater and Freljord together to have a bunch of elusives and pump spells, basically. That's what we're going to be going with. And we're even playing Gort Golden Narwhal. I always want to say Gordon. I remember even last time whenever we were talking about it, I did. But Golden Narwhal. Okay, that's that's how we say this card. Because, yeah, now that's two mana, two mana, two, three elusive. Like, that's actually a pretty good body. Even though it has the vulnerable, um, you just try to get a hit or maybe two in, if you, especially if you can protect it. Um, you know, it's just a really cheap, elusive body. Um, you know, we got a couple things on the ground with Hired Gun and Petty Officer, but, you know, most of are going to be going with the elusives and then our Pocket Aces, our Fury of the North, stuff like that. We got the Citrus Couriers, help be able to attack multiple times with our large elusives and then some Battle Furies to finish the game out also. Um, pretty cool looking little deck here. So let's go. So we're got, uh, we're going to go play five games over in Ranked and... Uh, see how this one does. Uh, this was a donation deck from a YouTube viewer. Uh, just, you know, sent it over uh, last night. Got it. I saw it this morning. Zed Garen. I'm not sure if I want to keep Wave Rider in hand. Wave Rider is great, but I'm not sure if I want to keep it in hand. Just how it costs 5 mana. And who knows, maybe I shouldn't be keeping the Pocket Aces. Our 2 3 is bigger than their 2 2s. You're covered. Meh. Um. Get bloody, get paid. Yeah, they just donate through with just with the. Uh, Ten dollar donation. Um, you know, I'll get those from Streamlabs. Yeah, no, there's no. Yeah, so no, no equivalent to the ten thousand channel points for YouTube. Just the ten dollar donation. Uh, maybe I go Sprayfin. No, we're gonna go Golden Narwhal. Oh, no, I should have gone with Hired Gun first. I meant to, because now, yeah, see, that now they have that thing that I don't, I don't want to Hired Gun that thing. Darn it, I should have started with Hired Gun. That was, that was my bad. Because that was my plan to do both of those together. Yeah, that, that's my bad. I really should have started with Hired Gun. Well, still gonna play it out there as a blocker. No, I I did mess that up, because especially because if I don't play it, I would save I would save the two spell mana, but I don't really want that two spell mana. Um. Yeah, Grizzled Ranger is gonna hurt these narwhals, isn't it? All right, that's fine. I don't, I don't, I just don't think I use pocket aces on those things because they're so easy to die that I, th I think I want to save pocket aces for the spray pen. We fight for those who cannot. There's plenty of killing left. The wicked must fall. All 
All right, I didn't. I didn't play that very well. Stay resolute. So we'll wonder what kind of Ionia card they have. Is it just Zed? Is that the only one? Charge? Potentially. Make it worth my while. You poor thing. Yeah, worried about that. We must not relent. Son of a Garen's really good. Garen's really underrated. Alright, come on, Battle Fury. Fury of the North. Nope. Battle Fury or Fury of the North would have would have gave us that elusive one. Garen is so good. I didn't play this perfectly. I think I could have won this. I think I could have eked out three extra damage. You would have been great to have last turn. Yes, there's going to be a new region this month. It will be released either the um the like the 19th or the 26th, one of those two. Has it been officially announced which one it will be? Yeah, that was close. I think I think I could have played that better. Kind of getting used to the new deck. There you go. That was a good learning game, and that's you know it's always good to you know be learning and uh, you know even even whenever you lose, just try to try to learn what you can do differently. And then there will be new cards every. There will be new cards every um, two months after you know moving forward so you're like we're gonna get a new large set here in august with a new region and then additional cards in all of the other regions and then in two months so september october and october we'll get just a, a small supplemental set they'll just add in some new cards um, no new region same thing again two months after that so december and then um two months after that so february is whenever we'll get the next large set with a brand new region and a whole bunch of cards again. Um, and then I think it's two small sets after that, so February, then March, then April, another small set. And um, a 
April, May, June, and then June another small set. And so, um, and then after that, we don't know what's going to happen. They haven't they they haven't made any announcements after that, but it's basically going to be. Um, That's going to be what we know so far. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Time to make some coins. So if I cast Pocket Aces... Yeah, our Narwhal stays alive, barely, and we kill that thing. Love ya. drawing this elixir of iron where we get to save the one mana for that anyway. So we're going to hit him for 6. We're down to 12. Yeah, you don't wanna cross me. Oh, I hope they didn't take one of my elusives. Everything's vulnerable. Alright, so I'm probably going to need Fury of the North and Elixir of Iron this turn. So that means I'd have one extra mana. And so I'm just going to play this Omen Hawk with the one extra mana. Kind of forgot that we were an Omen Hawk deck. Because Omen Hawk's great. Alright, Elixir of Iron just means that those trade. So that's good. We know the value of coin. So this misfortune is three out of four. Go with the flow. Yeah, boss. It's about to be four out of four. Alright, so this will put him to seven. I just have to hope that between this attack and next attack that I don't die. And then, you know, we should have another elusive. If you're asking me, Jack, no, I don't.
So it doesn't quite alternate. It's like, um, it's gonna be big set and then small, small like each two months, and then big, small, small. Well, Misfortune just won this game. Too many Misfortune attacks. I can't, I can't let any of them hit me. No, that's not a bug because the the sparring student and the petty officer enter at the same time, so the sparring student does see the petty officer also being summoned because they're summoned at the same time, so it gets the plus one, plus one from that. Six mis six misfortune attacks. Or seven? Seven misfortune attacks? It's too much. Oh gosh. GG's. GG's. There's no removal in our deck. So... We can't, you know, like, a misfortune. They just can sit out there like that and they just attack so many times we can't stop that. I mean, hired, hired guns, my removal. What's up, Shade? You're taking a break from everything. Welcome back. Eight awesome months on that resub. I am doing good. Thank you so much for keeping that sub going. I appreciate that. Yeah, things are going great. Okay, spooky mage seekers. Like, maybe I shouldn't be mulliganing these wave riders so much. No, I don't really like any of these cards in hand. I need to start out more aggressive. But you know, like our um, uh, spray fin. We've had like the spray fins, and the spray fins have been really nice. But we haven't had our top end, right? Like we haven't had Wave Rider or Abyssal Eye. We have five five mana elusives, and we hadn't seen any of those, and we hadn't had the Battle Furies, right? Like. Saw like both of those life totals, like Bat Battle Fury probably would have killed our opponent both times, so. I like this of having Abyssal Eye and having Battle Fury. I like this. Let's get to it. Okay, and we'll just save our three spell mana. Abyssal Eye next turn. Do y'all think that any champions would help our deck? Not really like a misfortune deck.
Maybe Fizz? If we play enough... If we play enough spells for Fizz... Maybe. Like, maybe Fizz is just better than Warning Shot. Like, how we just have, like, some random Warning Shots in the deck. Like, do we really need three Warning Shots? So I don't really want... I know I could cast, like, Fury of the North to kill their Thresh, but I don't really want to kill their things because of... Uh, Radiant Guardian. I just don't really want to kill anything. Hey, what's up, Boot? I'm keeping Fury of the North available here instead of playing Higher Gun because of single combat. Like a egg. Did it move? All right, well, we might as well just play this now. Unless they have one mana single combat for some reason. Let's do this. So the only card that saves them is Vengeance. That does not save you. That is not vengeance. There we go. That's what our deck's all about. Picking up that win. There we go. GG's. All right, we got one. Oh, playing against all in Fizz. All in Fizz. Oh, Citrus Courier. That's another card that we haven't been curving out into. <laughs> Boy, there you go. Thank you, Chris. We got the win. All right, let's... Mulligan Petty Officers? No, we're going to keep one Petty Officer. Petty Officer can challenge Starlet Seer. Fizz is on the bounty board today. Fun emo battle. Back and forth. We gotta be pretty good against the all in fizz deck because we also just have a whole bunch of elusives. So this is just gonna be difficult for my opponent. 
Especially how we just defeated one Fizz. This can't get through. All right, ooh. Abyssal Eye or sw Slippery Wave Rider? Guess we'll go Wave Rider. With that thing being a 3-2, can easily block the Abyssal Eye, but I do have Elixir of Iron. Morning shot. Will I? Dang, Avalanche? That's pretty dreamy. Have you all seen Avalanche in the All-In Fizz deck before? I don't know if I have, that's not bad. Die so that I get to this alive. <laughs> Whoa, Black Betty, Avalanche. Alright, GG's. That was a quick one. Our deck can have some quick wins. Two and two. Let's get that winning record. Let's get that three, two. Here we go, a slippery narwhal. All right, I'll try to keep them coming. Slippery narwhal. It's my first time playing golden narwhal. I think we lost the games where we cast Gordon. I'm just always going to say Gordon, because the Narwhal, like, right afterwards, it's hard to say Golden Narwhal. It's difficult. Um, definitely keeping Hired Gun. That's great against Teemo, just like against Fizz. I'm going to mulligan these other two. <laughs> Chris is $1.35. Let's go! Another day in the field. Chris, you the man. Like the most donation money I've gotten in a long time. Just dollar thirty-five a win. Yeah, that is a tongue twister. Golden narwhal. Golden narwhal. A chill in the air. Thank you, Chris. Oh, my elixir of ironing. A 2-3? Nah. The problem with not casting elixir of iron, like the elixir of iron was going to cost zero mana. Ooh. Nah, I'm going to go spray shine. Because we would have gotten that one mana back anyway. Possible I should have just gone with a 3-4. I was hoping to find with the Zap Spray Fin, I was hoping to draw the um, plus two plus one card. What's that called? Pocket Aces. So I was hoping to go Spray Fin into Pocket Aces. That's what I was hoping. Who's on the bounty board today? They're at 18? Why so much life? There's a 
Where's Pocket Aces? Let's go. Battle Fury. Just permanent plus eight plus four. That is furious. <laughs> That's definitely going to come back to bite me. Like when they have Sejuani here. I just gotta hope they don't have Sejuani. <laughs> no. That's really unfortunate they have the Teemo, because I was going to kill them with this Battle Fury. That Teemo is quite unfortunate, as far as blocking is concerned. No, I need an Elusive. Any Elusive. Or a Citrus Courier. Hmm... So I'm thinking of trying something kind of weird. Blessed by snow and stars. No, I mean I had to block that. I had to drop that narwhal, otherwise that Teemo would have hit me and then and leveled up and everything. You know they would have gave me the, a mushroom cloud and, and all that stuff. Um. Okay, darn. Does not ruffle our feathers. So basically, the problem with just attacking with Golden Narwhal is if they don't block, then um, if they just don't block, then I don't get to play any spells, and it just goes straight to damage, and they just take two. So that's why I kind of had to play the Jagged Butcher and attack with the Jagged Butcher, so at least like they just block here, maybe they don't block there, then I could pocket aces or whatever. I need another elusive. That's an elusive. The fruits of conquest. Oh, I gotta play that. Otherwise, I take lethal damage. Put on me mask to secure me tail. Start to die. Oh. Warning shot. You're not good enough. We are not good at drawing elusives, are we? We just need like any elusive. Again. Or citrus courier. Again. Roar! 
One to one. So we really didn't do... I mean, okay. Test? Okay. That's better. I don't know. Something something weird happened. Like the cord got disconnected or something. I don't know. But there we go. Better? Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, that thermogenic beam combined with Sejuani, that was like the only way to kill our spray fin and our only way for us to not win. And they, they did have that. Um, so that was really unfortunate. We did a really poor job of like in the later game, drawing Abyssali, Wave Rider, and Citrus Courier, right? Like we never curved out with like, well, we did like the game four and we won that game very easily. But besides that, like, you know, like we never really had Courier or Wave Rider at all. And these are going to be like where our power comes from. So that was unfortunate. Um, I did like the spray fin, but I don't know if Warning Shot really adds enough. Maybe Fizz over Warning Shot, but we're not, we're not casting enough spells to really give Fizz Elusive that much. Um, it's going to be basically a 2-1 all of the all of the time. Um, it did seem like we need like a, just another elusive, right? There's not really one. Prowling Cutthroat? I don't think that's better than... I mean, maybe Prowling Cutthroat over Warning Shot. I could see doing that. Where you just have this Cutthroat that can do more than one damage. I could see that. Um, yeah, I could I could definitely see that. And then, you know, you have, like, this cutthroat that you can use, like, your pocket aces and stuff on that's fearsome. I could definitely see that. Let's try one more game. These games all went real fast. You know, let's play one more. Let's take out Warning Shot, put in Prowling Cutthroat, see how that does. Got a narwhal. This is probably not a great narwhal matchup. Okay, cutthroat. Nope. Well, I complained about Wave Rider and a courier not having those cards, and now we got them. Um. Okay, not bad. So we got a decent curve. You know, we have the Elixir of Iron for our one spell mana. We can play Petty Officer next turn. Yeah, I mean, Abyssal Eye just kind of helps us with our... Um, that's pretty cool. It helps us with our... Uh, elusiveness like right like how everything's all about elusives all right we'll keep this basically i'm, I'm using golden narwhal or sorry i'm using elixir of iron to do two damage to them and have them challenge this thing again that's not bad keep up, keep up. there we go that is a really nice spray fin grab elixir of iron. And you know, it attunes and gets you that one mana. That's really nice. Wow, they're not doing the Callista? I guess they want to draw another card. Well, that means I get to challenge the Callista. Uh, 
Ow. <sighs> Freljord's broken. These one mana spells are broken. I guess the warning shot helps out Courier. We never had a Courier. Thanks for joining. No, I don't really need Petty Officer for the blocking with the one drop. I don't really care about blocking these things. I want to do a lot of damage. Yeah, Saturday's going great. We've had a lot of people in here. Man, Freljord spells are still broken. Because the, the Kalista's going to level up, so it's now it's a 5-4, not a... Not um, a 4-3. Um... So yeah, I still have the schedule listed as that. I'm definitely considering just doing... Oh, uh, we were talking about earlier. Think about just doing um, only Wednesdays and Saturdays as my late days. With... Um, all the other ones early. I don't know. Maybe, like, the Saturday early stream. This has been a better stream than usually my Saturday late stream. So maybe we need some more Saturday early stream. So let's see, six... I guess the cutthroat would probably be better as a warning shot so I could warning shot on their turn and courier. No like attack like this. They play something on their turn, I go warning shot courier. We gotta not die, go to next turn. Have this Abyssal Eye finish it out. That's me going to 10. I could block here and go to 7. Probably not that much difference between 10 and 7. I guess double fury of the north would kill me. That's not going to save him. Cool. That's good to know, Tizzle. That's good to know that early Saturdays don't conflict with other people doing their Discord tourneys and stuff. Okay, that may save him.
I know I could have pocket aced, pocket aced and gone for lethal, but I don't want to pocket ace and then they do something else. Basically, just saving the pocket ace for after this, so we can we can see what happens. I guess I, I should have played cutthroat first. Okay, that works. All right, count it three and three. There we go. Better record. I think I like the cutthroat more than more than warning shot. I think. Yeah, I think I like that cutthroat more than warning shot. There's a lot of times where we just needed any elusive body, especially with all these pump spells with your pocket aces, your fury, the norths, your battle furies. Um, I like that. And with your zap spray fin, you don't really want to zap spray fin and draw a warning shot. You really don't. You'd much rather draw pocket aces or elixir of iron. And so now with with change with taking out warning shot now zap spray fin always gives you pocket aces and elixir of iron so it always gives you protection for pump so that's pretty nice so there we go that was pretty cool this is a ni nice little deck nice little um champion list deck here and basically oh let's see common 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 rare and then common common Okay, Zap Spray Fin's an epic. Rare, common, rare, rare. So there's a, a few rares, one epic with the Spray Fin, and then basically all commons. So that's pretty cool. All right, so that's that's it. That's Slippery Narwhal. Pretty fun deck here. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Give this deck a try. Leave those comments. Let me know how it goes for you. If you've been in, you know, if you try it, if you're enjoying it. Leave those comments, let me know. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.